Heartbeat Technologies is a startup dedicated to improving CPR. Heartbeat Technologies was founded by clinical innovators who were moved by the dismal outcomes of current cardiac arrest care to create a novel solution to improve patient care. I'm a general surgery resident. I respond to code events and I witness these cardiac arrest events in the hospital and in the trauma bay firsthand. And myself and my team were really moved by how these patients often don't recover. So we decided to create a new device that would act in a different mechanism to improve CPR outcomes. We decided there's a way that we can get the heart and brain to see more blood during these events. And that was kind of served as the founding principles of what became the SAVER. The SAVER stands for the Safety Adjunct for Vascular Extremity Occlusion During Resuscitation. The SAVER is a smart tourniquet that acts on the legs during cardiac arrest. Our idea of occluding blood flow to the legs will increase blood flow to the heart and brain, which are the vital organs for survival. And if you were able to increase blood flow, which would increase oxygenation of those organs, you're more likely to get return of spontaneous circulation, which would bring a patient back from cardiac arrest. SAVER features dual bands to help with providing proper occlusion to your femoral arteries and to your lower extremities. These can be slid around each patient's legs and brought them all the way up near the groin region. So the SAVER also features windlasses, which will help you tighten and get the SAVER as tight as possible around the patient's leg. The SAVER features dual pneumatic bulbs, and these pneumatic bulbs really pinpoint your femoral arteries and provide occlusion. So blocking blood flow going down to your legs during a cardiac arrest case. You have a manual pump right here that when you pump with your hands, you can actually inflate our pneumatic bulbs, providing pinpoint occlusion to your femoral arteries. And then it ultimately will route that blood towards vital organs such as the heart and brain, um, hopefully increasing chances of survival. Future iterations of the SAVER will include a console that gives feedback on quality of compressions and also will streamline use, especially for lay people um, when they're using the device on patients in the field. Cardiac arrest is a difficult problem to study. You're capturing the last minutes of a person's life. Obviously, there's not a lot of time or space to do research in that process. That's why we use an animal model to iterate on our device. By partnering with the Medical University of South Carolina, we have access to state-of-the-art facilities such as this animal OR to do our cardiac arrest model such as the porcine model. We currently have been doing feasibility and hypothesis testing of our device, as well as building prototypes that work. Our next steps going forward would be partnering with likely the Medical University of South Carolina for a clinical trial in patients. We had Charleston EMS working with our device, hands-on in our studio, getting time with to see how it works, um, seeing what could be better, what could be improved upon. And with their feedback, we're very happy with where we've gone thus far, and we really hope to keep them and other partners engaged in our prototyping process moving forward. We were introduced to SCRA quite early in our development, and what's been so great is coming back to them after a few months' time, demonstrating our progress, and then ultimately being accepted as a member company and being funded to continue our research and development for the SAVER. SCRA has supported us in an academic startup grant that will continue to fuel our work on the PIG model to demonstrate survivability and increased perfusion to the heart and brain with use of the SAVER device. SCRA has been incredibly helpful with bringing new connections into our team, broadening our horizons and giving us the opportunities to network with groups that we may not have networked with before. We see the SAVER being stocked or bundled wherever you find an AED. That includes businesses, schools, airports, churches. We've actually already been in discussions with the main AED manufacturers and distributors, and we've also spoken with American Heart Association, American Red Cross, to help champion this product forward. There's been a lot of interest and encouragement from these teams, and we look forward to partnering with them to making SAVER part of standard of care therapy for all patients experiencing a cardiac arrest event.